So Chris, you went you went to ODU. Yes, sir, I did. And then, so you went to ODU, and then did you decide to stay here in Norfolk? Yeah, so I, uh, like some people do, I followed a girlfriend down here out of high school. Um, we, are, we are no longer, um, both my parents are from here, so it was an easy transition. You know, I've been coming here my whole life, but yeah, I went to, went to ODU um, five years, you know, kind of like seven years school of college. I would have pulled out seven if I could have. Uh, but yeah, I kind of, I got a, I got a, you know, I graduated in the 08, 09 time frame. Ran Wilder Tillett, is that what I heard? <laughs> What's that? Van Wilder Tillett. You know it. <laughs> um, finding a job, as a lot of people know, if they were in that boat in the 08, 09 time frame was extremely rough. So I ended up started working at a fine dining establishment in downtown Norfolk and was doing very well paying all the bills, but then kind of realized, Hey, I've got a a college education, a degree, um, nothing wrong with working in restaurants, but if I twist an ankle or, you know, the restaurant burns down or there's a pandemic, I'm not making any money. So I was the, uh, I ended up getting an internship in the city of Norfolk at, Oh hell, I was probably 25 years old. I'm interning with, 17 and 18 year olds that are still in high school. Um, but you know, the world was tough then, but yeah, went to ODU stuck around and, and been around since I love this area. Um, Hampton roads is super solid proximity to obviously to the ocean. And then you can get to the mountains in a couple of hours. So I mean, I, I love this area. Yeah. I was just, uh, I guess the, the whole premise of my question was going back to what we were talking about with, when you're at ODU, did you establish that network or maybe you saw this oh. as a target rich environment from a competition standpoint that you're like, Hey, I'm going to stay here and, and take over, take over the region. Hmm. Honestly, uh, that thought, none of that ever crossed my mind one bit. So I was, I was the guy in college and high school that, you know, I, 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 I showed up, you know, the whole C's get degrees resonated with me. Uh, sadly, you know, I, I was the kind of guy that I could go in and take tests and do all of that and get A's and go through, but you know, the homework and everything else. So I'll tell you, I, I surfed and partied most of my way through college. Um, and so that I was not in that mindset at the time, um, to, 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 to do any of that. And I, you know, I always say I got lucky. I was in the right place at the right time. Have you ever met someone who is though in the right position for that? Because I haven't. I mean, well, no. I, I mean, I wanted to go to. You know, I didn't even know if I wanted to go to college. It was one of those when I got out of high school. It was kind of like I was thinking about maybe community college. You know, because I, I wasn't sure. My 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 dad was like, "Well, we did the they did the Virginia five twenty nine um, saving college thing," and so my dad was. You know, they had they had paid for the college, and he was like, "All right, well, this is what's going to happen. You can either move out." and do whatever the hell you want to do, pay your own bills, or you can go to college, which is already paid for. And so I was like, well, you know, I don't, I don't think I would make nearly enough money out of high school to be able to pay for myself and college is paid for. So that's where I went. And, and, you know, I, I, hell, I still don't know what I want to do with the rest of my life, but I can, I can damn sure tell you that when I was 21 years old in college, you know, what I was going to be doing at 40 never crossed my mind. And, but and you know what? You're, uh, you're out there being social and, and look at the social skills you have now to, to build the network that you have uh, to what it is today. Are you stuck at your home office, socially distanced coffee shop, or your fancy all bricked out corner office wondering why no one can see your business and sales are all over the place? Sounds like you need a pro. That's why I developed the Anomaly Academy. Insert clever copy here. Oh, I guess I was supposed to put something else there. Oops. You can grab access to the Anomaly Academy now at zachmillersays.com slash anomalyacademy.